Welcome back everybody to another video. This is part 35 of GTA 5. Uh, last episode we did the Josh Bernstein missions and Trevor's mother. Um, and we started the Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill missions with, you know, meeting them. But we haven't done any of these things yet. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to finish all the Nigel and Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Thornhill missions. So let's go do it right now, everybody. I'll see you guys on the first one. And I'm going to do one of them first. So, you know, see you guys whenever. Alright, so here is the first one. Enter the club and find Willie. Find what souvenir is Willie. Okay. Trade man's entrance. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I can't believe we're part of Okay, which one of you cupcakes is Willie? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> His dentist! Willie's still <laughs> downstairs shutting up some bird. Hey man, no more autographs. Is that hey, Willie? That's okay. I want something more personal. Piss. <laughs> 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 They're fucking screams, dude. What'd I just take? His gold tooth or something? Ah, oh, fuck. We gotta go. I just wanted your tooth. That shouldn't be illegal. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, get out of here, game. Get me the fuck out of here, dude. Fuck. Let's say my work is done here. It is. Ha ha ha. I want this car, dude. Fuck yeah, we no did it. Way. Guess what, you crazy English fruit cake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fest, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo. <laughs> Is it wait, is it Love Fist the GTA Vice City band or am I tripping? Hey, let's fucking go. Alright, so the next one I guess we can go ahead and do I don't know, over here. Still Tyler Dixon's clothes. Alright. Where the fuck is Dick? Come on, get in the hot tub with me. I'm bored. I think that pill you gave me is wearing off. I've been watching you do laps for like. Hey! Please. Alright. I definitely wasn't supposed to kill them, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? They did spot me, they they know my face. If they didn't spot me, then I wouldn't have killed them, you know? Yeah. Get a nice new car too. There we go. Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United. 
United States of America. It's me and Nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic <laughs> news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. I did kill him, though. Sorry. What's what's pilfer? I don't know what that is. All right, so let's do this golf course one next. Guys, we haven't actually been to the golf course this whole fucking series, I don't think. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, fun fact. I don't know if you know this, but 150 million for the fucking golf course. How do you get that much money? Speaking of money, I'm going to look at my uh stock. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, fuck. I lost shit here. Wait, you're telling me I made... How much should I make? Wait, I made... I think I made almost 100k or over on that. Nice. I should really do that shit as Franklin too. More of it, I mean. <laughs> Alright, let's get ready to get out of here. Oh, golf cart. Fuck yeah. What? How the fuck? Each of these clubs cost more than I paid my assistant last year. Jesus. Ooh, I think this is a stunt jump. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Hey, what, what if the police have, like golf carts fucking um police golf carts that'd be hilarious hey, fuck, you. fuck you fuck you no oh what the fuck is that is that a spaceship part hold up it's a spaceship part guys no way W What how do they not see me bro? <laughs> bro Let's get the fuck out of here now. No Hi, they went on foot fucking dumbasses. Alright, bye bye golf carts. It was fun knowing ya. Wait, they can't make out vehicles, right? Where the fuck did my vehicle go? Bitch! Are you fucking- Why have my vehicles always get lost, bro? That's not even fair. Who took it? Fuck yeah. Persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall about Jill von Faustenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon! <laughs> I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Oh, you shitbag! What the fuck is hole in one?
Epsilon training. Carrie. Oh, I'm gonna kill her, bro. Not the dog, but uh. <laughs> Fuck you! Get up! Get up! Get up! Shit! It's a guy chasing a dog. What is it with you people? Doggy, come on, doggy. Be good to daddy. <clears throat> Got you, you little bastard. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a bad shit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, and a man. Uh, now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. <laughs> Does he actually go back to Carrie? Celebrity news flash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me supporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. We really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to, to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. What? Bruh. Where the fuck's this dog going? Alright. Cool. So, I think we're done for now with the Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill stuff. So, that's good. Uh, I guess we'll wait until the next one shows up. Let's fucking go, baby. We just got a Debushi W. Well, I never. There you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kitties at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying. To throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. <laughs> oh, I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Come here. Uh, I've got a p protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! Jock, no. you won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. A mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock! <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I thought they were fucking husband and wife, though. Left turn down the high street, Jock. Fucking do this. Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. I should have driven. Do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh dear, poor John. 
Don't go crazy. We prefer him in one piece. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I won't. Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right wing. One can, but <laughs> right wing. Pope, liberal in the bedroom, conservative at the border, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> The car park! No worries, mate! What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. You probably eat sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? Oh, my giddy aunt! Everything okay? Then? These guys are such freaks. My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds jarbing. This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those. Is he going to treat the Oh shit! Hold oh, on to your corpses. Oh, for hernia. Uh, what? Seems rude not to follow him through the window. Oh, fuck. That's a thrill. Uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Oh, ah. no. You're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get Angela off Natalie. Me. Uh. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Not jobs. That is so funny, dude. Oh, what? I did get a scratch, but okay. Fuck yeah. Alright, so now we just have to wait until the next fucking mission. Alright guys, so, while I'm waiting and stuff for the Nigel Mrs. Thornhill shit, I'm gonna start the stunt jumps right now. Like, the process of doing it. What's over here? Oh, money truck, I don't give a fuck. Fuck money trucks. But yeah, I'm gonna start the process. Oh, hold on, I think this is one though, so let's- Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking ass. Let's fucking go, baby. That was easy. Jesus Christ. Dude, if I fucking die by my by landing. Oh, shit. I fucking knew it. Dear Mr. Phil. Ooh, I got 5k, baby. Oh, I lost 5k and then... I lost 5k and I'm gonna get 5k. Ooh, we just got held up. Okay, 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 bitch. I'm gonna go to pictures first. Taxi man! Thank God for taxi. Come here, bitch. How did that miss? Stop your fucking vehicle. How much money? Oh, uh, okay. That hurt. Cool. Oh, helicopter? No way. Oh, that's for parachutes. <gasps> Wait. I don't want to do parachuting, but I want to shoot this guy. Parachute this guy. Oh. Come on in, buddy. Should be able to fit in one more jump. I'm going to go to Nigel. Oh, you can't go in? Oh, that sucks. Such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah, apart from you, 
job? <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip. Such fun. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What a palaver this is. Decisions, decisions. If you could just handle this, Jock. Mm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbye. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're going to have a train run him over. All right, bye. I don't think we ever get to see these guys again after this. But bye, bye guys, have fun. Can we take, I wish you could take him to the altruist cult here. you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please, no. I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, <laughs> Nick, 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 please let me go. I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy. <laughs> Continue the, to the destination to kill or stop the car and get out to release him. Guys, you know, with anybody else, I'd probably stop, but with Trevor, you know we have to kill him, guys. We have to, we, we can't risk it. Ah, oh, see, you can act. Don't listen to all those movie critics. Are those crazy old with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. <laughs> Ah, oh, you lucky boy! Older women are to be cherished, like fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? Where are you? I got shitloads of art. I know you know what that. Fuck! You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. As much as I feel bad for him, you know, it's Trevor. Trevor doesn't have sympathy. Well, kind of, he does. I don't know. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. They're not paying me anything. Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. Yes, sir. I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. Well, here we are, Al. Curtains up. It's time for your final scene. How's he still talking? Jock, we've been worried sick. I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. L. Danopoli. Train accident. Very sad. I loved that man. We will remember him always. The way he was on TV. Before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. Skin of your teeth? Oh, what? I think it was like jump at the last possible second. Hey, where's my money? I wanna see his body, dude. Alright, so now that we finished Nigel and Mrs. Thornhill and stuff, I think that is going to do with all the episodes. Uh, not all, sorry, with this episode. So next episode, I think I'm gonna be starting shit with Franklin. Um, purchasing Downtown Cab Co. and and doing all that stuff. I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. Because if you did, make sure you drop a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. That being said, I'll see y'all in the next video.